Welcome back friends. If you're new here, hi, my name's Kimberly and I own a spooky candle and apothecary company. I also like to pop on here um, right onto YouTube and talk about candles in detail, my journey as a small business owner. What is up guys? Tell me everything. Tell me all the hot gauze, all that hot candle maker gossip. Like, it's so funny because I feel like you hear like about a ton of drama in like all of the other like communities. So like on YouTube, you have like the beauty influencer like drama community. And then I feel like on TikTok, you're always hearing about all this crazy drama and just stuff that's going on. Like there are just so many freaking candle makers out there. I feel like we're all a little nutty professor. And I feel like if you got all of us together and like we were in a room, like it would be really interesting. It'd be really saucy. There'd be like a lot of hot gauze. We're all a little bit loopy, you know, we're smelling a lot of fragrance oil. There's just a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, I just feel like people should be talking about us a little bit more. I don't know. Something's gonna pop off soon. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We've been quiet. We've been laying dormant. We've been like a dormant volcano for a long time and it's gonna be our time to shine. So today we will be revealing our eight most popular scents. Woo! Uh, so we, are, we have nearly hit our one year anniversary, which is super exciting in itself. Uh, it's crazy that a year has already flown by. And I wanted to do this video for a while, but I felt like I honestly wanted to wait like at least a year just so I could really see what our actual most popular products are. So I remember when I first started candle making, um, I did a bunch of research, you know, I was going online, I was going on YouTube, just watching videos. Um, and just, just to see like what kind of scents do the best in general, just so I could like just start my journey somewhere. Cause I was, you know, I was clueless. And I swear, I swear these people were out to get us. I feel like they were sabotaging me on purpose because I would receive some of these scents and they were either not strong at all, like barely had any cold throw or hot throw. And some of them were just downright funky to where I was like, who the hell would light this in their house? You know what I mean? And so, but yeah, I just remember like I received some of them and I just felt like bamboozled, swindled. Um, through the past year, I did a ton of trial and error and I honestly just had to honker down and figure out like, what do I want my sense to be? I need to do my own research and I'm not gonna trust what other people say um, does well for their business because my business is completely different. My clientele might have different noses, uh, just all of that and everything. But yeah, so I will be sharing which scents of ours uh, just time and time again are tried and true. It's really funny because honestly, our OG candle collection, so like the first batch of scents that we really released, and that we came up with honestly are time and time again just the ones that always do the best we always sell out of them at events these are definitely the ones that go the fastest and so i just determined you know i just realized it's 2023 hot girls don't gatekeep we're getting the information out there because we all want to be successful and honestly like Opening your own business isn't about copying people, but I do think a lot of great ideas come from inspiration. So yeah. And so at the end of the day, let's be real. We all want the strongest and prettiest sense. Uh, we want the cold throw, hot throw, out of the bottle. I know that's what we all want. And you know what they say. The cold throw is what brings our customers in. And then the hot throw is what keeps them coming back. So keep that in mind. Okay, so our eight most popular scents. And so I wanted to do 10. Um, but to be honest, I really wanted to keep this um, collection. I honestly wanted to really have the sense that I noticed just do the best in my line. And so I think we have about 15 cents right now um, because, you know, there's five or six of them that are kind of like, you know, they're kind of random and they're not everyone's cup of tea. So time and time again, the scents that I'm going to show you today are just the ones that always seem to do the best. And that's just in my experience. It could also be due to labeling. It could be due to like marketing. Um, that's why there's only eight of them. I wanted to do 10 and I thought five was like too small. So um, with this video, um, all of these scents are just the most popular in general. So I'm not going to be saying like which one is like least least popular versus like most popular uh, with the exception of one scent. And that is going to be our absolute most popular scent. And so this is Baja Cactus Blossom by the flaming candle. I don't know if you can see that. I know there's a little bit bright in here. Oh my gosh, I am completely addicted to this scent and so are all of our customers. Um, this is, a, I think, a replica type of the Bath and Body Works one. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not. Um, but yeah, so Baja Cactus Blossom. It's fruity, it's floral, and it fills the room, but it's not overpowering, if that makes sense. It's honestly just like a perfect year-round scent. Um, yeah, because some scents you get and they're so strong that they kind of give you a headache. 
Um, but at the same time, sometimes you'll get candles and you can barely even smell them. This is not that. This will completely fill the room that it's in without it being too overpowering. It's just like refreshing. It's good for like cleaning the energy in your home. Like say if like you're getting like a funky smell in your kitchen or just in general in your home. This is a good one because it just makes it smell refreshing and nice. And so I will say that I do blend a couple of my uh, fragrance oils together. So I will be doing a whole separate video on blending in particular. Um, but I will go ahead and let you know which uh, scents that I do blend together. So for Baja Cactus Blossom, it does fill the room, but sometimes with these lighter scents, I do just want to give it that extra oomph. So my blending strategy was um, I actually went through my, and I just wanted to see like what complementing scents could make some of my scents uh, just how yeah have that like that extra oomph and just be a little bit stronger. And so in regards to Baja Cactus Blossom, fruity, floral, um, just kind of nice all around. So I didn't want anything to overpower it, but I just wanted it to give it a little bit of extra razzle dazzle so um the fragrance oil that i completely recommend and this isn't going to be its own separate one this is just going to be added on uh, for this first recipe just blending combination is it a recipe i don't know whatever formulation we'll call it formulation and so i will actually add raw sugar mandarin to the baja cactus blossom and so raw sugar mandarin it's honestly yeah just like a sugary sweet strong citrusy orange um, but yeah, it definitely smells like like a sugary mandarin. And what I really like about this one is that it does not smell like cheap citrus. So I've bought citrus fragrance oils and they just have like a very cheap, like annoying smell, kind of like a car air freshener. Totally hate those. And I've added even sometimes like a teeny bit of that to candles just to kind of give them a little bit of razzle dazzle. And it just completely like cheapified the candle. It didn't smell good. It was overpowering. And I just honestly hated it. Raw sugar mandarin, I completely recommend. It's not overpowering, it's juicy, it's sugary, and it just smells amazing. Yeah, it literally smells like a mandarin, like all the good parts of a mandarin. So honestly, um, it's just really pretty. So I'll add it to the Baja Cactus Blossom just to give it a little bit more power and just to make it a little more stronger and refreshing. Um, and so I probably do like a three quarters Baja Cactus Blossom in the candle and then I'll do like one quarter raw sugar mandarin or even less. Honestly, I'll just add a little touch of this just to give it a little extra zing. And so yeah, that combination together has been my number one bestseller time and time again. Anytime we go to an event, we'll bring double the Baja Cactus Blossom scents because it just does so well. It has a, an amazing cold throw and hot throw. So thumbs up for that one. Number two on our list. Number two. <laughs> okay, so number two on our list. Uh, so you, oh my God, there's crows outside my window. How cute. <laughs> Honestly, crows are so funny because they seem like scary, but I heard that if you give crows uh, like some food, like some meats or like crackers and cheeses, that they'll actually like imprint on you and they'll think that you're friends and they'll like bring you like trinkets in exchange for more food. And then I also heard that they'll like protect you. So what I really wanted to do is um, <laughs> I wanted, I tried feeding the crows outside our house just so like if an intruder ever came to our house and tried breaking in that the crows would like swoop in and try attacking them. Um, <laughs> but the crows kind of hang around a lot and they are really loud. So my boyfriend just got really upset with me because he's like, you're feeding the crows. They're going to want to start like hanging around here. And I was like, no, we're like buying friendship with them. They're going to protect the house. But so I don't do that anymore. I got in trouble. <laughs> Okay, so number two on our list is Black Raspberry Vanilla from the Flaming Candle. And you guessed it, I also blend this with the Raw Sugar Mandarin. I don't blend everything with the Raw Sugar Mandarin, don't worry. Um, but so Black Raspberry Vanilla, it already is super strong. Um, it's just, yeah, very fruity, but kind of like toned down and extra sweet with the vanilla that's mixed into it. Um, this was again one of our OG scents and then I just it is kind of nice like blending your scents because they kind of become your own and uh, ever since I found the raw sugar mandarin I add that shit to everything just because it really makes it pop um, and it's like sweet enough but not so strong that it overpowers everything so yeah, together it just becomes like a fruity, sweet masterpiece. And you'd be surprised, a lot of people like berries. So it's giving like fruity and fun and fabulous and a lot of people tend to buy it. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you're into black raspberry vanilla. Um, but yeah, it is very high on the berries. Um, but yeah, mix this together, it's strong. Um, it just smells delicious and it's the same, it's not overpowering. 
Okay, number three on our list. I know it seems like I'm doing a lot of fruity ones. I promise I have other scents that aren't just so fruity. Um, I just love fruity scents. I feel like they do end up being the most popular, but I do know that there's a lot of people with different like palettes and not everyone wants their home smelling fruity all the time. This year in 2023, because um, last year I released, yeah, probably about 15 different scents, but this year, um, but they were kind of like, like I would stagger it. Like I would release some like every couple of months. But this year in 2023, I wanna be a little more active on Instagram and just here. So my goal is to release new scents every single month, at least for this year. I know I can't do it forever, um, but that's just my goal for this month. So, um, but this is one of our OG scents as well. This one is so popular. Um, it's not really something that I light in my home that often anymore because it is so strong. Um, but if you're going to events and you want just to have like a fun, wacky candle in your line, Fruit Loops, you heard that right. Fruit Loops from The Flaming Candle is insane. This is probably one of the strongest scents you will ever smell in your life. It's strong, tried and true, and it literally smells just like you guessed it. It smells just like Fruit Loops. It's crazy. Like, just the amount of like fruit and then the amount of like that cereal scent. Like, you know that like, you know, like it's not corn. It might be cornmeal. So, you know, like that cornmeal scent, it's just kind of like buttery and yeah, just like that cereal crisp scent. I hope that makes sense. I do think it is like a cornmeal scent. They added that with the fruit and it just smells literally like if you open a box of Fruit Loops, it is like spot on. And so if you're going to events, if you're going to farmer's markets and you have this, people will smell it and they will like freak out. And it's definitely one that a lot of people like to buy. It's perfect for gifting because it's just like all around like a fun candle. Um, and the fragrance oil is so strong, um, absolute to die for. So highly recommend if you haven't already, Fruit Loops by The Flaming Candle. I will say they have a Fruity Pebbles scent as well. I got a sample of that one and it just didn't smell the same. Cause let's be honest, like Fruity Pebbles, Trick Cereal and Fruit Loops, they're all the same cereal, but just in different shapes, which is totally fine. I love different shaped foods. I'm a person like your pasta, you know, like pasta all tastes the same, but the shape makes a difference. It's a completely different experience. That's fine. Um, but I will say the Fruity Pebbles version of the fragrance oil, it's just not like as spot on. Like you can smell it and it has a little bit of that. It's a little more toned down. So if people are smelling it, they may not be able to catch that it's like a cereal one, but this one for sure, you could label it as tricks. You could label it as Fruit Loops. You could label it as, what is it? Oh, Fruity Pebbles. And people will literally be like, holy crap, that's Fruity Pebbles. Highly recommend. But yeah, I will say it's strong and it's just not something that I light in my house constantly because it is so strong. And let's be real, like I'm pouring hundreds of candles. So like Fruit Loops gets a little old uh, after a while. So I don't um, personally light it in my house. It's a little strong, but if you're looking for like a fun, wacky scent, people totally love that one. Sorry if, I, if I'm feeling a little loopy today. The time change just happened, which I don't get me wrong. I absolutely love this time change. And now it's gonna be later longer. So it gets dark at like eight o'clock. Absolutely love it. Seasonal depression was a whole thing this past winter. I just, I hate when it gets dark at 5 p.m. It's like you get home from work or whatever you're doing and it's dark at 5 p.m. and you're like, I might as well just go to bed now. At least now, like you can go out running, you can go out into the world. You don't have to be like a little hermit crab. Um, but I will say like, it just has me feeling a little funky. Cause just like, you know, the mornings, like a whole different situation. We lost an hour of sleep. It's definitely not the three cups of coffee that I had this morning. <laughs> so number four on our list of our most popular scents um, is cocoa butter and cashmere from the flaming candle. I know it looks like I order a lot from the flaming candle. I do bop around from different uh, fragrance oil companies. I will say that I do buy the most fragrance oil from the flaming candle. Time and time again, they do have really great products. They of course do have their duds here and there. Not a lot, but you know, some scents are just better than others, no matter where you're gonna shop. But fragrance, uh, but the flaming candle, I always have a good experience with. Um, but yeah, so number four, cashmere and cocoa butter. So I will say this was more popular during the winter time um because i did release this scent i think last uh it was the summer of last year and i thought no one really liked it because it was people were uh going for more of like the fruitier more like lively scents but once winter hit 
baby this this scent was flying it was like we couldn't like keep it on the shelves like long enough like we went to a ton of events and i couldn't keep it in stock long enough like people definitely went for this so maybe introduce it to like your winter or like your fall line because it is just so cocoa butter and cashmere in particular very strong it's definitely like a very unique smell like you're definitely getting hints of cocoa butter it's just like luxurious it's just very smooth and it's not overly funky like it's very soothing very cozy is what i like to say definitely like a cozy scent and it's definitely good for people that don't just like the traditional like holiday scents like you know there's like a lot of pumpkins there's a lot of spice there's a lot of cinnamon in a lot of those scents which me in particular i don't like a lot of like cinnamon holiday scents i definitely like those just like warmer, cozier ones. So if that's what you're looking for, this was super popular, very strong, very reliable. Um, and so we did add this to our permanent line uh, in terms of my candle collection. This is uh, under Not Today Satan. Uh, and so I mixed it with like a brown label and some brown marbling. It's just very pretty. And honestly, you could light it year round because it's not overpowering. It's just very soft, cozy, warm, and inviting. <gasps> okay this next one number five on our list is for all of like my spooky queens out there um i i'm gonna be honest i personally don't like this smell at all when i first got it um because it had really great reviews it had like a ton of great reviews and i was like okay yeah like i can get behind this and then i received it and i smelled it and i was like <laughs> it's very strong um but people love this one so it's definitely meant for like a specific person but so this is witch's brew by the flaming candle so this is definitely like a very heavy patchouli and incense smell and so it definitely has its demographic so you'd be surprised um men love this scent and then people that just love like an incense and like a strong patchouli smell trust me there's a ton of them they will absolutely love this one um Time and time again, like I'll take it to an event and like I won't really want to bring it because I'm like, oh, like I just don't think anyone's going to love it. And then people will come up to the booth and we're like, all right, like this one's for the bold. You smell at your own risk. And then people will smell it and they'll be like, oh, my God, that smells amazing. And I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it smells amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it does smell good. Um, definitely heavy on patchouli. It has patchouli, cinnamon, sugar definitely very earthy tones i believe there's some oak moss in there as well um, but yeah the way i just can describe it a very heavy like incense smell so this one is actually in our spirit conjuring candle um and yeah just time and time again it always have has this moment it's giving like witchy it's giving like dark ghoul but like still gorgeous and like very talented and very stylish so um, yeah, if you are maybe uh, wanting to introduce like some spooky scents or maybe you're already planning your Halloween, um, you're already planning like your Halloween spooky line, definitely recommend this for like a witch's brew like cauldron scent because it's definitely very earthy, very patchouli, very spicy and very strong. Number six on our list um, um, is actually uh, for once not going to be a flaming candle scent. Well, half and half actually. So number six on our list is Champagne Toast by Aztec. Holy cow. So honestly, Champagne Toast from Bath and Body Works what has always been one of my favorite scents. Just like bubbly, fruity, strong, fills the room, but not like overpowering and like not too fruity. Oh my gosh, it's just always been my favorite scent. So I knew when I um, started my candle line, I definitely wanted to find like a dupe or just something that I could integrate into my line because I was just always in love with that scent. It's very exciting. It's just a good candle to have the burn. It's just a good candle to have burning all the time. Um, but at the same time, I didn't just want to copy them. You know, everyone, you know, you want to have like your own line. You want to have like your own ideas. So I definitely wanted to do something to make it my own. Oh my God, I got the witch's brew on my nose, so I'm smelling it. <laughs> it haunts me, that smell haunts me. It's laughing at me. But so to make this uh, scent my own, um, I actually did a little bit of blending. Um, so I will do about three quarters of champagne toast with Bath and Body Work or from Aztec. And then um, I actually will mix in snowberry icicles from the flaming candle. So. Flaming Candle actually came out with this this past winter time, and I kind of just bought it just to see. 
And it's definitely like, it's definitely more like a bubbly, frosty, um, berry scent. So it's not too heavy on the berries. It's definitely just more like, definitely more just like fruity, but you can definitely get like some champagne tones in there. Um, so I think it was meant for like a new year's type of a thing. Definitely like a wintry vibe. Um, no mint or anything like that, but it's just not like a full deep berry. It's more like a sparkly bubbly berry. And so when I got this and then I found my champagne toast, I thought, oh my God, perfect mix. So I actually will do about three quarters of champagne toast because I definitely want this to be the predominant scent. And then this is just very strong um, and just has, yeah, like that extra little razzle dazzle that I like. So I'll add one quarter of this um, and then the two blend really, really well. I do know that the Bath and Body Works one, of course, is like less fruity. Um, but honestly, this combo isn't too fruity. It's definitely just like very luscious, very juicy um, and very refreshing, which is what I love. All right. Next on our list, uh, come on right down the line uh, is number seven. And so um, I actually ran out of this scent. I just realized because I just poured a bunch of it. Um, but so we do have a couple scents for the men. And honestly, there are a lot of girls that love masculine scents as well. Um, but so this, it's actually mahogany teak wood from the flaming candle. So this one in particular right here is mahogany coconut from the flaming candle. I haven't tried this one yet, but I just wanted to be able to hold the bottle for you. <laughs> um, but the scent that I've been using for our morning wood uh, candle, morning wood, <laughs> uh, I definitely wanted to incorporate more masculine scents because not all men just want like fabulous fruity scents. Um, mahogany teak wood is perfect for that. It's strong, it's robust. Um, and it's definitely like a more masculine scent. So when people come to our booth, um, you know, they'll smell it. And then I've heard people say like, this smells like a man with tattoos or <laughs> definitely just sound, smells like masculine, but it's not like bad masculine. Like it's very like a tasteful masculine scent. Uh, so definitely recommend it. I know a lot of people do mix mahogany scents um, just because a lot of people don't just want like that gritty masculine scent. Um, so that's why I bought Mahogany Coconut. I'm actually going to try this one out soon. It had really good reviews. When I smell this one, um, to be honest, it, yeah, it just kind of smells like a toned down mahogany. Um, but I love the OG Mahogany Teakwood. So yes, final thoughts. Mahogany, if you're looking for like a good masculine scent that's not overpowering, love it. And... It's also just a really good masculine base if you want to mix in other scents with it. So um, definitely highly recommend. Okay, so last on our list. Um, so this is an additional candle that has uh, been with us ever since the beginning. This is one of the first scents that I ever launched. So I, I don't know if you remember way back when, way back when, when I said I thought a lot of like YouTubers or just different like candle communities or whatever like some of the scents I thought were like a total scam um this was one of them in the beginning but then um I was able to kind of uh blend it with something else and now I'm like obsessed with it so this one is for our coffee lovers so if you if you want to add a coffee candle to your line it just really depends this is a good uh mixture if you want like a good just coffee candle in your line and so this is coffee house by the flaming candle so I will say I do blend this scent, so I'll show you the blend in, in the moment. But in terms of just coffee house in general, it's definitely more of like a caramely, uh, light coffee scent. So I don't like this alone because it's more just like an aromatic coffee scent, if that makes sense. It's not just like a strong in your face, like I'm brewing a cup of coffee scent. It's definitely more like when you walk into a coffee shop and you can smell just like the aromatic coffee just kind of like all over the place. That's what this reminds me of, if that makes sense. However, I like my candles to be a little more in your face, like pack a punch, like, oh damn, like I'm smelling that candle. So I did a lot of trial and error on this. I did a lot of different mixtures. Um, and so I actually really like the cappuccino espresso scent as a mix-in with the coffee house. So I will do about three quarters of coffee house and then I will add the cappuccino espresso as a mix-in because yes, this is definitely more like a straight up espresso scent. So very strong, very like gritty coffee, if that makes sense. Like to me, this smells more like you're opening like a container of like coffee grounds or like espresso. Um, and then you're getting like that really strong scent, 
that's what this reminds me of. So I don't do a full candle of this on its own, of course, because that would just be like a really nitty gritty candle to me. So I do find that I love the blend of these two because you have like the caramely sweetness, like comforting aromatic of this candle, but then you get like a little more pack a punch of coffee notes in this one. So like I mentioned, three quarters, um, I will do a blend of the coffee house and then I'll do about one quarter of uh, the cappuccino espresso just to give it that extra oomph. That's it. Um, so those are our eight most popular scents um, in our candle line. Like I mentioned before, some of these have been with us ever since the dawn of time or since the beginning of this whole journey. Um, and they have been tried and true and just time and time again, I do find that those are our most popular. And then some of these have just been filtered uh, in as we have gone along. Um, I tested them out. They did really well. And now they're on our permanent line. All of these scents are currently available in candle form on my website. If you feel like you wanted to try one out. Um, but yeah, I can highly recommend all of these scents. Um, I'm not trying to trick you and I'm not lying to myself on a lot of them, but of course, what you want for your candle company is gonna be completely up to you. Personally, for me, I feel like an area of opportunity, I'll just be honest for my business, is kind of filtering in more like sophisticated scents because I do feel like I follow candle lines and it's like Santal or Mahogany Velvet Rose, you know, like very like suave, just sophisticated scents. And a lot of mine are, you know, like just kind of, you know, more normal, like Mahogany Teakwood and, you know, Black Raspberry Vanilla. Um, but we, I, I, you know, I'm experimenting and, uh, I do just find that, yeah, like sometimes you don't have to go with those crazy fancy ones. Um, cause sometimes I'll release one of those and I find that they don't even do that well, but time and time again, we do find that people, at least our demographic or just what I've experienced, you know, sometimes they don't need anything too crazy. Sometimes the more basic, um, just like regular well-known scents, uh, could do the best, but that's not to say we have gotten people that um, visit or buy something. Um, actually, so sorry, no, like at our events, we have noticed like there's like more sophisticated candle smellers and they'll smell one and they'll like pick up like really random notes and they're like, oh, is that, is that oak moss? Oh, oh, I don't do oak moss. And it's just like, wow, like you have like a really good nose or like you really, you know, are really particular in your sense because there's definitely people like that too. So it kind of just depends on your demographic. If you're going for more of like a bougie, sophisticated candle line, you know, you're definitely going to want to go for more of like those blends and more of those like sophisticated uh, scents. But yeah, if your demographic is a little easier um, and, you know, is there for fun and, you know, you're just looking for some good old fashioned fun scents, um, you don't have to do anything too crazy. So definitely experiment with it. Um, I think at the end of the day, if it's strong, you can smell it um, and it's enjoyable. Obviously you can't go wrong. And then just like a final little note, the way that I research my scents, um, what I have been doing, which kind of works best for me, is I will actually go to the review. I will spend hours actually. <laughs> um, like when I want to add new scents to my line, I will definitely look at the different reviews on uh, different scents, of course. And I will, I won't just look for the good reviews. I'll look for the bad reviews just to see. So like if I see a couple reviews about like the candle, about the fragrance oil being light or having like no hot throw, I'll be wary of that. Cause that's not to say that that fragrance oil is bad. I mean, that person's wax could not just mix well with it or they could be doing something wrong. Um, but I will definitely do my research in the reviews and then I'll just look at the notes and then I'll order like a small tester bottle. And of course the best way to really find out for yourself to if whether a scent is going to be bomb or it's gonna be strong or not is of course testing it. So yeah, just kind of develop your own research plan and kind of uh, mix and match doing like reviews and testing. But of course testing, testing, testing is always gonna be the best way to figure out uh, if a scent is gonna be working for you or not. So that's it guys. <laughs> Uh, these are our most popular scents. If you enjoy this video and you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to hit like and please subscribe to the channel. It's super helpful. If you have any questions or you have any recommendations on what type of content you'd like to see in the future, feel free to pop it in the comment section below. Um, I'm always checking that out. And if there's anything that you wanna learn, I'm totally happy to review that. It's always a pleasure getting to chit chat with you guys and just share our secrets and our tips and our tricks of the trade. So thanks again for tuning in and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.